hello and welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome if you're a returning subscriber i'm thankful for you you make this channel strong it's you who make this channel very strong if you are a returning viewer guys see i'm in this car in this parking lot it's not a parking lot but i'm here making content for you not like i came here to make content but i mean i'm taking my time to make content for you and you decide to not subscribe to the channel what you trying to achieve hmm what are you trying to achieve so jokes aside please subscribe to my channel please consider subscribing uh to this so that um you get more content my name is Maud. i am a channel content living and working in zimbabwe i make content about um careers finance and traveling sometimes so without getting into too much uh ado i just want to have a chit chat with you guys about when is it the right time to leave the audit firms? So, uh, when I had thought that, um, probably I think the first answer is when it's time to leave the audit firm, you will feel it. You'll feel it in your heart. You'll feel it in your gut. You'll feel it in your bones that it is time to go. But wait, let me just go in uh, in the driver's seat. I think there's better lighting there. Okay. Um, I think this looks way better. Uh, today I'm being chauffeured, so I wasn't in the driver's seat. So anyway, I was saying, if you are. Uh, when it's time to leave, you feel it in your bones, you feel it in your gut, you feel it in your heart, you feel it in your mind. Your mind will tell you it's time to go. But uh, if you're having the dilemma that I had as well of what is the right time to leave the firm, uh, this video is for you. I'm not going to exactly give you an answer, a true, a straight answer. I'm just going to give you like questions that you need to ask yourself. So um, I was... When I started going to the other firm, my plan was to stay until I was manager and then go to business school. Uh, but then I was feeling it. Uh, I started feeling it like, ah, this is not going to work around the year that I was now in my third year, third year, third year, eight months, somewhere around there. I felt like, oh, I need to leave now. Um, and I always had this dilemma of you don't want to leave too early, but you also don't want to leave too late. But leaving too late is... By staying in the big four firm, I feel like it's a safe option because your exit opportunities stay or even maybe increase. So if you're, if you're a senior, if you stay to order manager, you're going to have access to being able to get more jobs in the, in the audit profession, in the accounting profession that you probably didn't have access to as an audit senior, which is very questionable. Please stay on. But if you're, and then if you get a senior manager, which means you're also able to, also, you're also able to apply for those other roles that are way above what a senior can, um, can apply to and you're more qualified for those. But if you qualify as an, as a general accountant and just to an audit senior, you have these questions about, am I living too early or am I living too late? Now, the, whether you're living too early or too late or when is the right time to leave depends on what do you want to do. So I will take the first thing is if you want to leave to go into audit in London, maybe you want the exposure of living in London, the exposure of living in Manchester, the exposure of having lived in New York, in Leeds or whatever. If you want to do that, um, I don't feel like there is any point in you staying post your third year mark if you have a three year contract because with three years experience, you have solid experience. So and this experience can be sold to any firm uh which big firm or whatever it's not just to do with your your interview skills can you sell yourself but i feel like with three years experience you can sell yourself so you can get into any job that you want so i i would like to think that uh with if you want to go into audit the right time to leave is around your s2 because when you're leaving you're either going to go into your s3 or your s2 so staying post s2 might make it um 
redundant like you're getting experience but you'll not be able to sell it unless one thing unless you post your s2 which is your senior to post your s2 you can get into manager if you can get into manager within that year i think it makes sense for you to stay if you don't have pressing financial commitments that make you want to leave the firm because here in zima you understand that the s2 salary won't be as much of a motivation so people are in a rush to go but if you don't have any pressing commitments like if it's not somebody's dying or if it's not your house that needs to be built which was the reason why i left the firm um you can stay up until manager why because when you're a manager you can then get uh, a job as a manager out of zim and when you get a job out of money it will be very hard for you to navigate being an audit senior in the uk especially if you change firms like a new firm navigating a new culture even if it's the same firm a new culture a new country and then keeping on the same progression as you were as a senior here it will be hard but here in zim because it's something's a familiar ground and you already have a sponsor and a mentor within the firm you can get to manager easily and then you can leverage that experience to get a manager position out of zim because going to out of zim as a senior it will take you two to three years before you become a manager so why not just stay for a year become a manager here and then look for jobs as manager out of zim so that's one if you're looking to leave as manager but if you're looking to stay here in zim i would like to think the best position for you to leave the firm is audit supervisor now this is not audit senior audit senior is what you get into level five 2.5 years later from your cta where you're starting to run your own audits i feel like that is good but staying in the firm at that point is very good because it's going to teach you passion it's going to teach you how to manage a team how to manage deliverables how to manage deadlines um because now you're the one who is solely responsible for the file unless the firm is not going to give you the exposure to be solely responsible for the file i would like to think like as an s2 i really don't want to be working under another senior but like if you have that opportunity to become a senior at an audit I think if you want to stay in Zim and go into other roles like FM roles, uh, senior accountant roles, the right time to then leave is your level 6. Yes, level 6, level 7, right there when you're audit supervisor, you've had a team, you've run a client, you've had four or five juniors under you reporting until you've reported back upwards you've um you've run a file you've completed a file done audit reports and everything i feel like you can defend yourself and you have enough experience to go into any fm any senior roles if you want to stay in zim i don't see the value of staying up until manager in a firm why if you stay in a firm for like a year after you become senior and you get a year in that year you make sure you run three clients especially if they're like listed clients that have deadline that have teams that have people who are smart i feel like in those in that one year one to two years post that you have gained so much experience in managing people managing timelines managing everything that matters as a chat content and i feel like because you have that experience you can fit into any fm or whatever else i've gone into interviews when i was a senior i've gone into an interview i went to this interview for fm and guess who was also in that interview my managers who were um, at my old firm they were also in that interview interviewing for the same role and i think we all left the first round um, a lot of people were eliminated and they still sailed through to the last round of that interview why because I had a similar experience managing people is managing people so i think like if you want to stay if you want to go into industry in zim if you're not going to stay until you're a senior manager you're as good as living until you're a super supervisor but if you want to then get into the listed firms as like fc or whatever then you might then give your allowance to stay up until manager and then if you want to run the firm one day become a partner become um an associate director which um will be a cutthroat if you want to do that um then you 
stay up until you're like a partner uh, and you stay in the farm like forever and you keep performing so yeah that's it uh when you leave the farm is highly dependent on what is it that you want to do how do you see yourself which uh roles do you see in your future if you want to go out of zim into all the roles leave it is is too staying up until s3 is wasting your time because it's an old as an assurance associate is s3 I don't think you're getting anything that's going to sell you better um, in, in, in your overseas experience. You're just going to get the AM or the ASO, senior associate role. Or if you can, stay up until manager. So don't decide to stay until your AM. That AM role, I don't think it will serve you. But either you leave as is to or you stay up until your manager. When you're a manager, you get the manager roles. Then that's good. Or if you want to go into the local market, you also leave it S2. S2 is a year into your audit experience, a year into audit senior, a year after your audit senior experience, which means you've been here for three years. Then um, if you're S2, start leveraging experience to go into the FM roles, because I don't think you need to be assistant manager for you to go into these FM roles. You can still get them as an audit senior, as an audit supervisor. And then, or, you stay up until your senior manager but as your senior manager you're sort of outpricing yourself out of the market no one will hire a senior manager to become an fm at uh, smaller firms because as a senior manager you're definitely expensive so uh, it would have been easier probably if you joined as fm and then you rose up the ranks and i think some other people would also prefer to just hire people who now have for example, if I'm going to hire an FD, I'm not really going to look for um, an audit manager who just has audit experience. It's never really felt the heat from a client perspective. So that's why I was saying, like, if you're going to stay for an like, manager, not really. Manager won't save you, but probably a senior manager because then you are involved in actually running the firm as the own, as a quasi owner of the business so you have that experience that can give you like the fd role or otherwise uh you go in and you stay all the way in the firm up until you become like a partner depending on what is it that you want to achieve um in your career so i hope this video was helpful um the te key takeaways are what level are you how long are you prepared to stay what are your financial goals but some people might be prepared to stay in the firm for like forever but like sometimes they don't have your sisters to school so sometimes the money you fame won't be enough or sometimes uh, you have other dreams that have nothing to do with the firm that you want to leave so it just depends on what are your pressures what do you hope to achieve and how best can you achieve it and also guys talk to your mentors look for people that have walked this journey before you and i'm sure they will help you people are keen to help if you just reach them out reach out to them and you come to them proper you know and just seek guidance they'll be able to help you thank you guys for staying this long um i hope this was helpful please feel free to click on the subscribe button and Oh, did you hear the accent coming through rich and vibes please feel free to just click on the subscribe button and i'll see you in the next video thanks and bye